Blues comes in many different forms, and in this lesson I want to show you a different type of blues. Now, I wrote these blues not following the common 12 bar blues. In fact, this is more of a song-like blues. We're going to be using a lot of bluesy elements, such as the chromatic notes and the dominant 7th chord. If you are not familiar with the percussive technique that I'm using, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you how to play these blues without the percussion, and then I'm going to show you how to play it with the thumb slap and strum technique. There will also be two tabs, one without the percussion and one with the percussion. So if you need the tab, make sure that you check my Patreon page. So let's get started with this Made in Italy blues. We're going to start with the C major chord, G, back to the C, and the C7. So we start with the note G, and then we put down the C major chord, you know, just the C and the C on the B string, and you're going to pick the two strings together, E string open, and then the G major. We're just going to pick the fret 3 on the low E string and the top E string. Make sure that you use the second finger and the pinky here. Pick the strings simultaneously, and then the B string fret number 3, 4, and the E string open. And then we'll go back to the C. We play three strings, the A, the G, and the B string. And then we add the B flat, which is gonna make this chord a C dominant seven chord. So the G string for number three, the bass note, and then we have the G string open. And we change chord and we play the F. So the next set of chords are the F major, G over F sharp, and the G7. And we'll go back to the C. So the F major is pretty simple. We have the low E string for number one and the G string for number two, and then the B string for number one. Then we change chord right away and play the D over F sharp on fret two, two on the G string and three on the B string. But we're only going to pick the uh, low E string and the B string together, and then the G string for number two. And then the melody goes on the B string for number one, and the B string open. And then we change chord and we play the G7. We're only going to pick the low E string fret number three, the D string for number three, the G string open, and the bass note again. And then we have the melody, the chromatic melody on the B string fret number three and four. So I'm going to put the whole thing together. Now we're going to go back to the C major and this is when uh, we're going to modulate from the C major key to the A minor key. So we're going to play the C major, E7, and then the A minor. So the C is very simple, it's still the same chord, we just have, you know, the bass note on the fret 3 here, and the top E string, then the fret number 3 on the top E string, and then we change chord, we play this beautiful E7, um, which is played with low E string, the G string fret number 4, the B string fret number 3, and the top E string fret number 4. I like to arpeggiate this chord quickly. Or you can just pick it simultaneously. Then the E string, fret number 4, and fret number 5. This is when we change chord and we play the A minor. So the A string open, and we have four notes, the top E string, the B string fret 3, and the fret number 1, and we change chord again. So now the melody is played over the D over F sharp. So you wanna play the low E string fret number two, which is the F sharp, the G string fret number two, the B string fret number one, and fret number three. And then we have So the C major and the fret number three and the G seven. 
Now on this G7, we're gonna use a chromatic phrase. So we have the low E string fret three, which is the bass note, simultaneously with the top E string open. The, the B string fret number four with the E flat. And then the fret number three and the fret number one. You play the bass note, the C, the thumb slap on the low E string, and then we play the G7 chord. Just fret three, nothing, three, open, and three. And then we repeat the same section. So let me put the whole thing together. The cool thing is we're going to repeat the same thing. We're only gonna change the uh, last chord. So you wanna repeat the same thing all the way up to the uh, E7, A minor, the D over F sharp. So up to this point, you will repeat the same notes. And then we're gonna have So we are playing this nice turnaround, which is the C major, fret three, one, and open. The A7 with open, two, and three. The D7 with the D string open, and then the fret one and two. And then the G7 with the fret number three, the B string open, and the E string fret number one. And the top E string open. So we're gonna do it slowly. back to the C and the E7. So we're playing the C major and then the E7 which is played with the low E string, the D string fret 2, the G string fret 1 and the B string fret number 3. You pick this simultaneously and then we have the second section which is going to be played in A minor. The chord progression and the melody sounds like this. So we're gonna start with this A minor chord. And you wanna play two strings, the G and the E string for number three. I like to use the second and third finger. And you pluck with the bass note, the A. And the melody. And then the fret number three. And then the fret number three again, with a hammer on on fret five. Fret three, open. And the uh, B string for number one, so. And then the E7. So we have the same chord. We pick the um, low E string, the D, the G, and the B string. Then the E string open, thumb slap, and then we uh, pick the top three strings simultaneously with the bass. And then we have this nice bluesy phrase using the pentatonic, the A minor pentatonic. The B string fret number one, three, slide to fret five, and the fret number three. And then we repeat the same melody. So the first few notes are the same. And then the fret number eight, seven, five, and we finish with the fret number three. I used a little finger here because I'm playing the E minor after. So, And we're gonna strum this chord. So you have the melody, then the bass note, then the uh, D string, and the uh, top three strings. Then we have the top E string again, and uh, this nice section played with the D minor chord. A minor. So I have two chords, the D minor, played um, with fret five, six, and seven. 
The finger picking pattern is slightly different here. We have thumb and ring, middle and index. And then we repeat the top three strings. So, then fret seven on the top E string and eight. And then we have the A minor chord, bar chord on fret five, fret number seven and eight. And then we're going to play three chords, the F7 chord, D7, and the G major. So the F7 is uh, this one, you have the D string for number three, and then five, and then four, and then five. The finger picking pattern is this one, it's thumb and ring, middle, and index. And you have it like this. So the first time with the thumb, second time without. Then we change chord and we play the D7. So we're playing the, uh, starting from the D string, the fret number 4, 5, 3, and 5. Same picking pattern, thumb and ring, and then just the ring. So. And we finish with the G major chord. So we're just playing four strings, the sixth, the third, the second, and the first. And then this bluesy phrase. So the B string, fret number one, three, slide to fret five, and the fret number three on the E string, E string open, G string open, fret number two, and the fret number one on the B string. And we play the last four chords, the C major, A7, D7, and the G7, and back to the C. So, now if you want to add the percussion, the thumb slap and strum will always be played on the second and fourth count. So you don't have to change anything in the way you play the melody. You just gotta add the thumb slap. So So definitely not the usual 12 bar blues guys, but we can use all these bluesy elements to uh, write songs like this one, you know, that don't necessarily follow the blues structure, but we're still using these nice bluesy elements. I'm gonna leave you to practice this, so make sure that you uh, take it step by step, learn the chords, learn the melody, put it together, and I'll see you next time for another video.